Hey guys, what's up? It's another Saturday morning here in West Palm Beach, Florida. I woke up, what, at 4.10 this morning. I heard that the uh, kingfish and mackerel or what we call carry in Trinidad was biting up on the Juno Pier. So after four months, let me see, last time I fishing was up in Palm Coast when we visited Palm Coast. Yes. So I'm running up here and see how the bite's happening. I don't plan to stay long because I have the little sniffles and I really can't take the heat out there again anymore like a long time. So as soon as I catch anything, drop it in the cooler, get some ice, we're heading home and maybe do a catch an instant cook one time. I'm looking for curry, curry Tony Hunt. Let me go. See some of the action happening on the pier. A lot of barracudas. Here is busy, busy, busy. All the uh, all the pros in the end here. Damn, we got two snook on here. Oh my shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, nice. So, it was action, it was action on EPA. I'm gonna stop in here now to buy some ice to throw in my cooler. Unfortunately, again, I do have a camera man or man, and a man, you see, you know how high that is? I feel I dropped my phone or my camera down in the water. So I just more concentrate on catching than filming. If I have a camera man with me. But anyhow, I caught some there. I'm gonna get some ice, drop it on it, I'll go home, season it up fresh fish on the go so let me go all right guys check it out this is what i got on the uh got like about five um uh, we was catching them with these this little thing called a crappy jig just drop it in the water and jiggle it it was going after this but it had a lot of live bait around but not too big but not too small either and I put a cavalli or jack and I end up with a bunch of these guys little barracudas was mixed up in between the um, mackerel and kingfish I never really had this before I'm gonna try and fry a couple of these and see how it you know how it goes down so that's the final there. 
so check it out oh that is cooler now i don't know if this call this let me see be sheen in trinidad to me all i know this is like baby barracudas or small barracudas but if that is be sheen somebody drop a comment and let me know i'm gonna try and fry it i don't know if there any other way to cook it my best i think the best way is to fry it all right guys so while i was cleaning up all these uh fishes that i caught there um i went to take a bait and miss alicia had grabbed a couple pieces of the kingfish and she made a fish broth or fish soup check it out nothing good nothing good and guess what I got a little sniffles going on if I find a song in funny right now. So this fish soup or fish broth going and come in real handy for that. But before I get down on this soup, the boy going and attempt something. I going and attempt frying barra yes but not barra for doubles you know barracuda yes because them full barracuda I catch there man i'm gonna give it a shot uh one of my supervisors at work he told me that um usually he fillet the barracudas put them in some milk have the fillets soaking there for a little bit and then sap it with a napkin i'm gonna try that it takes all the uh fresh taste out of the fish so i'm gonna give that a shot so stay tuned guy your boy gonna try some barra, you know, barracuda. All right, guys, so take a look at this. This is all this barra frying going on, throw down here right now. Um, I know I, I looked at uh, Jamaican videos and they have done barracuda too. I can't remember if they jerked it or what, but it looked delicious. But anyhow, I'm gonna give this a shot like this. This is the setup I got here right now. I got the uh, fillet pieces. It's been soaking like 15 minutes now here in this milk. Alright. And then I got some seasoned pieces that I just sliced up. That egg and some flour there. So that is set up that way it gonna look like. Guys, so I'm gonna crank up this stove here. Get this oil going. Drop some of this pastoral GT here. So you guys could use our NP if you want. Actually, it is not a shell GT, it is <laughs> some Wesson vegetable oil. <coughs> Wait for that to get a little nice and hot. So So while that oil is hotting up there, I'm gonna take these barra fillet out. They've been soaking for over 20 minutes now, so. I'll move this milk one side. Then I'll go on to what the guy said. Sap, 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 sap. Sap that extra milk on it. I'm gonna flip it. I think 
that same sap 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 milky thing nice so I'm gonna check see if the oil is hot and I'm gonna do the fillet section first because I'm anxious to taste this what it tastes like I've done this with bluefish already and it really took the, uh, the freshness, the fishiness out of the, uh, the fillet. So I'm trying it with the barra today. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this right here, this fillet. I'm gonna drop it in the egg. Then, bring this a little closer. I'm gonna drop it in some flour. Check it out. I'm gonna drop some of the egg in the oil. Make sure that it's hot. All right. So you can see the little pieces of egg bubbling there. So what I'm gonna do next, drop my bar of chili right in there. Repeat that process for the second piece. Egg first. Egg first. Flour. And fire. And these, check, check, out, check out the fillets I got from that. That's actually about, I'd say maybe about seven inches. A small bar of milk. Now I'm always scared to eat barracuda because I heard that they, um, they're poisonous. In Trinidad, let us see, barracuda has a lot of mercury in it and stuff like that, so people are a little bit hesitant to eat it. But I saw a lot of people eating it regularly these days, so if they could eat a lionfish, what is, what is this? Check it out. I'll see maybe what? Three minutes on either side. Guys, and this thing is smelling so awesome already. It's smelling like when you pass by some kind of fish and chips place. Check what I like up in there. Too much heat, I like that. I'm gonna get heat on it. Turn it up a little more. Yeah, that's so, that's so. And this has no kind of seeds, and this is the egg and flour. While I'm frying there again, I like to shout out all my viewers, subscribers, and um, my new subscribers. Again, you could hear on these lamb songing. And, oh, uh, yesterday, I, I tried to do some fishing. Uh, within a couple hours, I, I think I did pretty well. Um, if I didn't feel stuffy and 
sniffly, like like I'm feeling now, I probably would have filmed full my cooler, you know, I would have stayed a couple hours more because the fish was real, really biting it. They had lots of bait around that pair, you know. That Juno pair, man, you always get good, good fishing off of that pair. Another good spot to fish off uh, is Hope Song on the surf if you like surf fishing, but I don't really like the surf fishing because sand's getting between all the, the the reels you gotta wash your, your reels and get in and you know mess up you get in all between your toes and stuff like that and right I'll say as soon as the other side get like that color, that's it. Bar I don't. Nice, so I just took off the bar off the fire there. I'm gonna drop in the seasoned pieces while that cool long. Check it out. That is what it's looking like there. I'm gonna drop that seasoned piece off in the fire there now. Take it from there. Anything. They say this might help. I know some, some people say these are mitts, some orange juice with the pulp, slight pulp in it. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, while you rest at the bar, um, frying day, I want to shout out this guy from um, New Jersey, man, who I met in the in the week. I think my partner remind me your name. I think he said your name is Ram Gulam. So shout out to the man Ram Gulam, alright? Hope you're having an awesome, awesome weekend. To meet you on the next trip you're here in Florida. So you could knock a thing. So Ram Gulam, big up yourself. Yeah guys, and um, the way this cold have me feeling, this sniffle is gonna go in. I actually supposed to attend at the birthday party down in Delray last night. So, I wanna see it. To the host and hostess to that um that birthday you know i wasn't feeling 100 so i couldn't show up i went and tried to do a little fishing it was pretty exhausted the sun kind of like beat me up too so i really couldn't um attend and i was coughing a lot so you know next time you can make up for that you know your boy jake don't miss out no party so until the next party now all right guys so everything's off the fire check it out check it out my bar of fill here um this gonna look different if you notice this looking different from this the same barracuda but this here is without the flour and the egg this is i dipped it in the egg and then the flour here and then i got miss alice's fish broth waiting there so the big moment you know you're gonna wait, watch out, watch this. This seems like bread. It does. Watch me. Wait! 
うんイフソモリオマイレストランドアイドノービーカンシャーケザービッティングイフセサラメイクビーカンバーカウタバーカウタウェイ Right now, this thing for me is in Baden and Shark. Mm. You put this in a bake with the same little tomatoes and lettuce and little cabbage thing that this do. And you know, let me know, sell out my ideas now. Nah? And that milk, it has extract out all the freshness from this. Watch me. Hmm. I wish my boy s h o u l d this was here to try this, bro. I know. I have a feeling about this, but, but not so good. But let me try a piece of the um, season one. Mm. Yeah, boy. All have a kind of distinguished taste. It. This is without the, um, the egg and flour, but again, the seasoning taste. Hmm. Have a little bone in it, eh? But um, similar to mackerel. Mhm. Mm All right. And that's that's that one. Let me try the one with the um butter and the hot sauce. It's bad. It's really bad. I'm impressed. I ain't regret. I keep them four little barrels at all. I was going to throw them back in the water, you know. Because I caught one about five feet already. And you could smell this like. You could smell this weird smell coming out of it. Like, like seriously, like that mercury smell. But this. Mm, bad for these. So, my restaurant is in a corner here. And last but not least, Miss Alicia's. She told me this will knock out the coal. Cheers, guys. <clears throat> I'll take a second dips there. Mm hmm. <clears throat> So there we have it, your boy Jake Fry Barra. And we need no channel for this barra. What we need is a beer. So that might be the um, that might be the, the key thing there, BBB. Beer, beer, bacon barra. Yeah, man. So there we have it, guys. Next time you're fishing, catch a barracuda again. Uh, um, If anybody watching this video, I just always get mixed up between barracudas and b e c h i n or b e c h i n or what is called fish. I know a fish expert that is like fishing. I didn't know I like my music. I crank down on the fishing a little bit because of the music. But anyhow, um, drop a comment. Let me know if that's the same thing that is called b e c h i n And yeah, there we have it. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Until the next time. See you on Chilamuchi. Peace out.